Hey everyone, so this is going to be a little bit different than usual. Instead of doing a regular fruit review, this is going to be a top 10 worst fruits that I've ever had. So I have made now 100 episodes. I have done these episodes in 8 countries. And because some episodes have more than one fruit in them, I think it's something like 125 different fruits that I have tried in these videos. So after having had all these different flavors in my mouth, which ones are the worst? That's what we're going to get to the bottom of today. And uh, next week we'll talk about the good stuff. That should be really exciting. But now I want to just see how bad can something that came from Mother Earth possibly be? Pretty bad. This is durian. Now if you look at it, uh, it might not look like too much, but this is a very controversial, notorious fruit. Why? Because it's, in my opinion, repulsive to all five senses. Oh, durian. Uh, durian's kind of a strange one for me, and that's why I'm putting it in the number 10 spot because it's something I can actually see putting also in my top 10 favorite fruits. It really depends on like what kind of mood I'm in. The first time I had durian, it was god awful. And you know, some people really love it, some people really hate it. Me, I am somewhere in the middle. Some days I'm in the mood for it, other days it's the last thing I could possibly want. I, it's a very like acquired taste, kind of like having like a stinky cheese and you know, sometimes you just you just don't want that. So uh, durian for me, it gets the number ten spot because when I'm not in the mood for it, I'm really not in the mood for it. This is actually like it's all right, man. It's pretty good. So uh, I'm not. I'm gonna probably eat this much of it. I don't think I can eat the rest of it. It's still like a little creepy, but um, it's good. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm really excited about this one. I've been trying to find Gak fruit for a very, very long time. Gak. I was really, really excited to try Gak fruit. It's big, it's spiky, it's bright red, and you open it up, it looks like organs on the inside. It's like a really like badass looking fruit. So I was like so super stoked to try Gak. And when I opened it up, it is boring. It is like such a boring fruit. It tastes like like nothing. If you cook with it or if you make a juice out of it, it's supposed to be really nice, but if you eat it just straight on its own, eh, it doesn't taste like much of anything. And it has like a very like slimy texture to it, so it's just kind of like unpleasant and hard to get through. Honestly, it's kind of a letdown. <laughs> I mean, this is pretty awesome looking, and it's like a really cool fruit, but uh, the flavor is just kind of like a little disappointing. It's time for a big one. I'm going to talk about this guy. This is an Eureka palm fruit. Betel nut is not something that you eat because it tastes good. People eat it because it's a, it's a stimulant. And, I mean, if you look at the flavor, the flavor is not horrible. It's just, like, tolerable. It's, like, it's okay to get through if you want the stimulant. It's like chewing on, like, a spicy stick. You know, not, kind of like cinnamon, I guess, but not as good. But the big thing is, like, beetle is all around unpleasant. You know, it when I ate it, it made me salivate like a gallon of this red spit. It burned my mouth. It made me out of breath. It gave me like heart palpitations. It made me like shaky. It perks you up, and that's why people take it, but it is not in a pleasant way. It perks you up in a way that makes you feel like, I don't know, like tense. More than anything, it just really wasn't a pleasant experience. But on top of that, it's really bad for you. It can give you cancer, and it can give you diabetes, and it can do all these horrible things to you, and it stains your teeth, like, really, really badly. So, because of all of that together, it's, it's not something I would ever do again. 
there's no good flavor to it. You know, it's kind of like dries out your mouth a little bit. It turns your teeth bad. It gives you like all sorts of you know cancers and bad things if you do it for the long run. But uh, yeah, if you have the opportunity to try it, reluctantly, I'd say try it. Nipa palm, to be fair, is supposed to taste good if you eat it unripe, but the one that was sold to me was a ripe one, or mature fruit, and it was impossible to open. Out of all the fruits I have ever had, this thing was like trying to open a rock. It was so hard to open. It took so much effort that I spent a day going around trying to get people to open it. And when I finally got someone to open it, it was a huge letdown. I'm kind of flavorless. I'd say the closest thing I can relate this to is eating like a candle, but maybe like a little bit harder. More like eating plastic. Philanthus so gooseberries are not normally eaten straight, okay? It's something that people make a juice out of, or they'll cook with it, they make like salads in it. It's used more of like a, uh, like a spice, you know, it gives like sourness and kind of like a, like a refreshing taste to food. And I've, I like it in cooking, it's pretty good. And, but like on its own, and the experience on its own, it's, eh, they're not, they're not fun to get through. Saying that, the Laotian gooseberries that I that I had the misfortune of trying were horrible. They tasted like a chemical. Even if you were to like cook with it, I can't see how that would improve the flavor of anything. Not good. They, I'm sure they don't eat them just straight out because that is not pleasant at all. I've got. Um, the Limau Kadangsar. I don't even really know what this fruit is. I don't know the scientific name for it, but I found this particular fruit in a bucket at a market in Kuala Lumpur, and the guy who was selling them was essentially a witch doctor. He was selling fruit that is to be used for medicinal purposes, and Malay black magic. And this one, I can see why people don't eat it. The fruit tastes like something that you would use to curse somebody with, not something that you would want to eat. I can only describe it as tasting almost exactly like lemon dish soap. It had a horrible chemical soapy flavor to it and not much else might have been poisoned too. It's kind of soapy the way like a kefir lime is. It's really sour. It's really bitter. It's really astringent. It smells nice. This is a Chempadak right here. Take a look at that guy. It's, big. it's as big as my head and it smells worse than my feet after a long day running in the sun. I really love autocarpus fruits. These are like these big spiky crazy looking fruits that have like a very like complicated like tropical flavor to them. I've had uh, meringue, I've had breadfruit, I've had jackfruit, and I love those. And people who kind of like like autocarpus fruits usually revere one of them called a chempadak. I hate Chempadak, and people have given me hell for saying that on camera, but I don't like them. They are like jackfruit or meringue, but they have like a B.O. funk, kind of like durian, but in a profoundly unique way that is just like unpleasant. It takes something that is a good flavor and adds like this disturbing funk to it. And when I made the video, a lot of people complained that the one that I had was not properly ripe, 
Okay, I've had it three times, including having it deep fried, which is supposed to be delicious. Every time I've had Chempadak, I've hated it. So I'm sorry, I just don't like it. It is taking a good flavor that I like, I can see the flavor in there that people like, and just putting garbage on top of it. It is something I know is not really edible. You're not supposed to eat it. It is a ume. Pickled ume is a very traditional, very common uh, staple in Japanese cuisine. Well, I had the bright idea of trying a raw ume, and it was brought to my attention that they are actually highly poisonous. Yeah. Luckily for me, I just ate like a tiny little shred of it, and I think I spit half of that out, so I can live to tell the tale of what unripe ume tastes like, or raw ume tastes like. It tastes like... like poison. It tastes like something that you should not be eating. And maybe it's kind of cheating that I'm, I'm talking about something that you're not supposed to eat, so of course it tastes bad. Well... I don't like regular ume either. Regular pickled ume just tastes like a handful of salt to me, so that also would probably be on this top 10 list somewhere, probably around where raw ume is. It does have like a very sour and salty flavor, which is good, but not concentrated like this, in, in my opinion. I know some people, they'll just like pop these things and they love it. Um, me, I, no, I, I can't, I, I can't imagine like enjoying eating this. This is the wood apple. This is another one that I get a lot of complaints about because um, people say in the video that I made, the wood apple I had was not at the proper ripeness. When it was sold to me, the guy assured me that it was ripe. Maybe it wasn't. I've actually had it twice, and both times it tasted the same. But it still deserves a place on this list. Wood apple has the texture and the flavor of a clod of dirt and spoiled eggnog. It is horrible, but it's horrible in a very profound way. Like, you can eat something that tastes really sour or really bitter, and that's why it's bad. You can, like, wrap your head around those flavors, and you can kind of, like, understand why it's bad. But with wood apple, it just, like, triggers, like, some, like, simian part of your brain where it's just like, this is wrong. What you're doing is wrong. Maybe the particular wood apple that I had was not the perfect ripeness. Maybe. And if that's the case, I'll give you that. That's fine. But take it as a warning. If you're going to eat wood apple, be very, very careful. Because if you eat one like the one that I ate, you will be haunted for the rest of your life. this. <laughs> so I'm going to talk about noni. Noni is the most vile thing that nature has ever produced. It is a tumor that grows from a tree. I ate a teeny little shred of noni and it made me gag. I would rather eat dog crap than eat noni again. That's how bad it is. It is the worst thing that I've ever had. And what just like boggles my mind is that people pay a lot of money for noni juice and noni products and noni fruit because they think it's good for them. Maybe it is, or maybe it isn't, I don't know. But it's not worth it. It's bad. It's really, really, really bad. 
And you shouldn't be putting that in your body. If you would not eat a piece of crap, if you wouldn't do that, then you shouldn't eat noni, okay? That's, that's just my opinion. If you think it's really healthy and the health benefits justify eating something as horrible as noni, then go ahead. But me, I would rather have the disease. It's like somebody like ate some cheddar cheese and like vomited on a lemon. That's kind of what this tastes like. It's just like... <laughs> Alright, that's it guys. Top 10 worst fruits, at least in my opinion. Uh, I've had a lot of fruit, I've gone on some crazy adventures, and these are memories that I would like to just, like, suppress. Next week, we're gonna go into some memories of the best fruits that I've ever had. These are the most fantastic things that the world has to offer. So, tune in next week, and uh, thanks for watching.